If you want to make money online, don't just expect people to show up and hand their money to you. In this video of hashtag winning, I'm going to share the number one skill you have to develop as a health expert or coach if you actually want to make money online this year and into the future. All right, guys, what's going on? Gabriel King, your CEO and founder of Healthpreneur. Just got back in from a workout at the gym and I had this idea to share this with you because it's something I spent a lot of time talking about and coaching our clients around. And it's the one skill, the one skill that you as a health expert, as a coach, must develop if you actually want to make money with your online business. And what's interesting, and the reason I share this with you is because what I see a lot of in this space, in the space being the internet and people wanting to build an online business, is um, I want to sell a course. I want to make passive income. I think I'm going to set up a website and people are just going to land there and hit the checkout button and give me money. I start to burst your bubble, but that's never going to happen. It's not going to happen. And if it's not currently happening for you, I want you to understand that it's not going to change. And I don't want to be the grim reaper here and all doom and gloom, but you have to understand the biggest obstacle you are facing building a business online is a tremendous amount of skepticism and a lack of trust that you have with your marketplace, that we all have with our respective marketplaces. No one is going to your website and going to hit the checkout button and drop $500 on your course that they're just going to go through on their own. Yeah, maybe friends and family. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I see this happen so often that I want to spare you from this frustration. I have many other videos on this channel around why I think selling a course or information in general is a catastrophic mistake, catastrophic mistake, and what to do instead, which I believe is to build a coaching business built around actually helping people. Think about this, the completion rate of a course, people who don't actually, like they just go through the course on their computer, no interaction with you as the coach or the expert, less than 10% completion rate. So why would why would we build a business around something that fundamentally 90% of people are never gonna see results from? They're not even gonna finish the damn thing. So if you care about helping other people, selling a course is completely backwards. Now I understand the allure, right? You wanna make passive income, you don't wanna have to work too much for it. I get it, I played that game back in 2005. I thought coming online, living the laptop lifestyle, writing an ebook and selling courses online was going to be the dream, right? I can sit by the pool with my laptop on my lap, never happens, okay? Didn't happen. And I'm not saying it can't happen for you. I'm just saying it's very, very challenging because if you play that game, if you go down that, like, you know, red pill, blue pill, if you take that pill, you have to become the world's best. I'm not talking about good, but absolutely world-class at copywriting, at being able to craft an offer that uh, some people are gonna say yes to, and then you have to build a very convoluted funnel to continually increase the average order value of what people are buying so that your business model actually makes sense. Because the reality is no one's going to your website and dropping $1,000 on a checkout page. It's gonna start off with something small, 10 bucks, 100 bucks at the most. So you have to be able to build value in that upsell sequence and it's a nightmare many years ago. And I share this because my previous business was built on this stuff, okay? I'm just, every, as you know, everything I share comes from personal experience, not from just like something I read in a book. So. Many, many years ago in my previous business, we had a cookbook launch and it was a free plus shipping offer. So essentially, um, it was a physical, I'm looking for a copy as if I have it on my desk. It's a physical cookbook, you pay nothing and you just cover the shipping, right? $7.95, we send it to you. By the way, if you see these offers online, you know it's coming, right? After you hit the checkout button, get ready for it. So we were testing, we had nine different upsell flows. So when someone hit the checkout page and I put the $7.95 in to pay for shipping, the next page was the first upsell. We had nine possible directions uh, that could have gone after the checkout, okay? And each of those nine different funnels, backends, like the upsell flow, had four different upsells. Like so we we're testing 36 different variables and we had a friggin' like NASA statistician to track all this stuff. And all of this was to increase the average order value from like $19 to $24. Like, what am I doing? What, what are we doing here? And yeah, we did very well with it. Like we, I remember playing tennis one day, okay? So this is like, if you want to get a sense of what passive income feels like, I remember playing tennis with my brother one day and I was, you know, between sets looking at my phone and we were like, oh, cool. We got like $55,000 in, um, in sales today. Like from other partners who are promoting the, the offer. So we had made 55,000 of like our cut and then our partners and affiliates made their cut. 
I was like, that's a pretty cool feeling. But here's the thing is like the amount of work that went into that, like was astronomical. So I just want you to understand that passive income is just like this pipe dream that doesn't, that doesn't exist. Like the only thing I can, I can share for, again, from experience of having business, having been in business for 20 years is you can have levels of passive income in your business, but you have to build the assets to create the passive income, right? You don't like, even in our business that does eight figures, there's really like, I mean, if I don't do anything in the business, like, yeah, it's still going to generate a lot of money. Okay, cool. So like technically that's passive income, but I work my ass off to build this stuff. And I still have to lead the team and do things in the business, right? So it's not truly ever passive. The only thing, I mean, even to some degree, even more passive is if you have net free cash flow that you take out of the business. So as a business owner, if you make hundred grand a month, a million a month in net free cash flow, like profit you can take out of the business, whatever you do with that money, that's on, like, if you want to invest it in real estate, cool, maybe that's passive, but then you have to manage the real estate, right? So it's never really just passive. Anyways, I'm sharing this with you because let me come back to the one skill you have to build. Okay, the one skill you have to master is learning how to sell. Learning how to speak to people on the phone or on Zoom, having a conversation with someone, even if it's in person or on virtual media, to be able to, you're having a conversation with someone, so you are collaborating together and helping them make the best decision for them. You see, sales, especially in the health professional world, has a really, really icky, slimy feel to it. And I get that. I mean, when I was a trainer, I remember... I, like I was underpaid. I, I felt really awkward asking people for money. It took me a long time to get through a lot of that money stuff. And and now, I mean, obviously I'm on the other side of that, but I had to go through a journey. So I'm kind of sharing this with you because, you know, maybe you weren't going through that similar journey. Selling is the most important skill in any business. I don't care if you're selling solar panels or if you're selling a, you're building a SaaS company, like no matter what it is you're doing in life, you have to sell. You have to sell your ideas. You have to sell yourself. You have to sell to someone else. The ability to sell is everything. It makes the world go round. And I want you to have a better association with selling. And that's one of the things that I spent a tremendous amount of my personal time coaching our clients with. So in the coaching I do with my clients, two thirds of all that time is spent reviewing their sales calls, giving them feedback, helping improve those conversations so they feel more conversational, less salesy, helping the prospect feel more comfortable and safer with our client. And as a result, more likely to work with them. And the reason I spend so much time uh, relatively with like my time with our clients on this is because once we've built out like their perfect client pipeline and they have like lead flow coming in, all of that stuff is fairly straightforward, but none of it makes sense if you can't actually enroll a client on the back end. And that's really where like the buck stops there. Like if you get someone on the phone consistently, 10 calls, 15 calls, 20 calls, and you're selling a three, four, five thousand dollar coaching program, and you're getting no's every single time. You don't drop your price, right? What it is, it's a reflection. It's a mirror holding up, like right in front of you, saying, "Dude, you got to get better at this." But here's the cool thing: is that because in a higher ticket model, you have so much more margin based on that price point. A lot of the marketing doesn't have to be world class dialed in. So remember earlier when I said if you want to sell a course for a couple hundred bucks, your marketing has to be world-class. Like I'm talking like, holy shit, who wrote that? That is the most compelling offer. And like, I got to have all of this. For you as a health expert or coach to do that is pretty slim. I'm not, you know, trying to burst your bubble, but again, it's going to take you years to build that skill set. By contrast, you can be okay on the marketing, right? Decent messaging, which is also the second most important skill to build, right? The ability to communicate and typing words on a screen that move people to action, but your marketing can be okay, right? But the ability to get someone to say yes on the back end or just before they eventually work with you changes everything. It's the biggest leverage point because if you have 10 conversations and one person says yes, you sell a $3,000 program, you made $3,000, okay? If you get better, if you build that skill and you have 10 conversations and enroll four people, that's $12,000. You four extra business by doing nothing else but improving the skill of being able to sell. So let me, let me just walk you through like my philosophy on how I see this. I, I actually don't think, I mean, we have a process called coach to close. Coach to close. It doesn't mean you coach and give advice on, a, on an enrollment call. It means you coach someone through the form of questions, very specific questions asked in the right manner that helps them connect to the current state, like the current situation they're in to help them understand that it's nowhere near where they want to be and be able to, with them collectively, collaboratively, move them toward where they want to go. And only if you feel it's a fit 
and they want what you have to offer to even take the next step. So visually selling, think about it this way. It's like if I were talking with you, I would be right beside you with my arm around your shoulder saying, let's figure this out together, right? What are you going through? What's going on right now, right? Why are you stuck where you're at? How long has that been going on for, right? It's really like you and them collaborating together. And if they feel that from you, they will feel safer with you than with someone else. No one likes to be sold, but everyone wants to buy a solution to their problem. So you got to be able to find that balance of how do you get the outcome, which is not for you, but the outcome is to help the prospects do what's best for them. And if it's working with you, then you just have to be really good at getting them to see the value and helping them feel safe to do business with you, as opposed to dealing with, well, I just got to get my finances in order and... Uh, you know, the I need to think about it. The I got to talk to my spouse. The get my finances or in order. Something came up. You have to understand that all of these are bullshit excuses. I don't buy them. Even when our when our when our sales team, you know, we're getting like a brief of a call and person's like, oh, like they said they got to get some stuff in order. I'm like, do you understand that means they're not fucking doing anything, right? Please do not buy their story. A sale is always made. Either they buy it from you or you buy their story. Either way, a sale is being made. So which side do you want to be on? And if you are in a position where you've had conversations with people and it's just constantly hitting your head against the wall, you should be so friggin' frustrated by that that you like you lose sleep at night to the point where you like, I got to figure this out. There's something I'm obviously not doing well because it's not just what, like I had a client the other day. She's like, I think, I feel like there's like, I just want to know if there's like, like, what's the one question I'm missing? I'm like, well, it's not one question. Like it's a series of questions. It's the syntax, it's the context, it's the tonality, it's your conviction, it's how you show up. And if you are not training on this, well, you're going to be left behind. Uh, we had a client who was doing not so great on our enrollment calls. And I asked her, I'm like, how often are you practicing your selling skills? Because we give them a very specific curriculum to work on on a daily basis for 30 minutes. And, I, and she's like, well, and I just asked her, I'm like, are you doing that daily? And she's like, well, I'm like, that's a no. Okay. If you have to hesitate, that's a no. So, you know, every other day, I'm like, that's not good enough. It's not good enough. Don't accept every other day. Because if you're not getting the results you want, you have to change the activity. You got to be working on this stuff. Like it's this, like you have to understand, like I don't do our sales calls anymore, right? But I spend a good amount of time training our team and our clients on sales. The only reason I have any degree of expertise here is because I spent so many years in the trenches getting good at this. So I'm not saying you're going to spend the rest of your life selling, but you will. Initially, you're going to sell to prospects to become clients. And then as your business grows, you're going to sell to your team to then sell to other people. You're going to sell your vision to build your team, to hire people. You're always selling. And selling is not you talking and explaining. The more you talk, the more they walk. Okay? So if you don't know how to have these conversations, please let us help you if you want. I mean, listen, there's probably a link below. You can take the next step with us, learn more how, how we can help because I don't care how good you are. It doesn't matter. Like no one, okay, no one is just going to fall into your lap, not online and say, here's my money. Maybe if they see, like maybe if you've got a million followers on YouTube and you've built a tremendous amount of trust after millions of hours, they've watched your videos, that's fine. But for most people, that's not happening. And what that means is you have to build the trust gap as quickly as humanly possible. And we don't do that by necessarily just giving people more content or showing up like thinking you're the best in the world, which is fine, but people don't care about you until they feel you care about them. And if you don't know how to lead these conversations, your business is going to always suffer. So the number one skill you must master if you are a health expert or coach looking to build a coaching business online is sales. You have to get good at selling. And if you don't know what that looks like, please watch a bunch of the videos on this channel. I've got lots of videos walking through our frameworks, how to overcome objections, the energy in which to show up on your calls. And again, by all means, if you want our help to take the next step and really work with you in the trenches on this stuff, uh, watch there's a link somewhere in the description. You can check out our masterclass and book a call with our team if it makes sense and you fit the bill. So that's what I want to share with you today. I hope this makes sense. That's the number one skill, right? You want to make money online in your coaching business. you got to get people to say yes to working with you. And it's not good enough to have letters behind your name. The letters behind your name do not entitle you to a successful business. They are the tokens that allow you to play the video game, okay? But now you got to get really, really good at the game. And the only way to do that is by building the skills and knowing how to do that, obviously, and then daily repetition, feedback, training, ongoing. And I'm not talking about 10 hours a day. I'm talking about 30 minutes, 60 minutes at the, at the most. 
and then you put yourself into the world, you have these conversations, you look at what's working, what isn't, you course correct, and that's how you become masterful. So if you wanna know how our clients are doing 100K a month, 50K a month, right? Six million a year, there's no secret sauce. I mean, there is, but like, they just get really good at having these conversations and then they're able to scale that. It's not that they're scamming people like some people say in a Facebook ads. It's impossible to make 300,000 a month. No, it's not, but it is if you don't know what you're doing. And there are very good people out there doing very, very good work. And they've just gotten very good at being able to get people to say yes, because it's in their best interest. Not the clients, like the prospective clients. That's, the, that's, that's what it's all about. It's helping your prospective client do what's right for them, okay? So anyways, um, just wanted to share that with you. If this resonates, let me know below in the comments. Minimum, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos coming your way. And by all means, once you've done that, check out any of the other videos on this channel, specifically this one right here, which I think you'll really enjoy if you want to improve your selling skills. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you in that video right now.